expressions is not working at the desktop, I'm working at expressions. I can't seem to play a video out of my laptop into live view for feeding. Live view? Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Ticket Thursday. And in this episode, I'm going to share with you how to handle unfamiliar IT issues or tickets. I know it feels intimidating when you see issues that you have not seen before or systems you have not worked with before or familiar with. So hopefully this video will help with some tips in handling unfamiliar issues. Okay, so my first tip is to stay calm and take a deep breath. It is totally okay not to know everything. What matters most is how you respond. Also, don't pretend to know everything. Oh yeah, I can fix this issue. I haven't seen this issue before, but I'll look it up and figure it out and we'll get back to you, okay? And the next proper step would be to ask the right questions to narrow down the issue. You can ask what exactly is happening. When did it start? Is it affecting others? Or was anything changed before it started happening? And once you've narrowed down the issue, you can search for internal documentation or knowledge base with the error message or screenshot that you got from the user's response before spending time troubleshooting the issue. You can check if this issue happened before. This will save you time and point you to the right direction, at least on how to approach an unfamiliar issue. But if you can't find anything, you can use troubleshooting techniques to help you solve the issue and here are some examples. So for our example here, a user's printer works when printing Word documents but not when printing PDFs. One technique you can use is a general troubleshooting flowchart. And it starts with identifying the problem. This is gathering information from the user about what's happening and asking clarifying questions to narrow down the problem. Okay, so does the error happen on all PDFs or just this one PDF? This question is to narrow down the issue if it's just for a specific file or for all PDF files. It happens on all PDFs I try to print. Is there an error message whenever you print or it just doesn't print? Asking for error messages makes troubleshooting easier if there is a specific error and it helps you know what to look for. No, here's no error message. It just doesn't print. So now we have identified the problem and that it's not printing for all PDF files and no error message is showing. Now we can proceed to the next step, which is verifying the problem. What you can do next is try to reproduce the issue yourself. I'm also going to try and see if I can print the PDFs on your computer. Sometimes users report issues that don't match what's actually happening. Confirming ensures you're solving the real issue. Okay, so I've confirmed that you can print any PDF files on your laptop. Next is to check the scope by determining whether the issue is affecting only this user, a group, or the whole system. Do you know if it's happening for other people? I can also check on my laptop if I'm having the same issue. Scope helps you decide whether to troubleshoot the user's device, the network, or a central service. Next step is gathering information. Now that you know what exactly the issue is, you can start collecting logs, screenshots, and test results. In our issue, we can check more details like what program are they using to open the PDFs, which printer are you trying to print to, did this work before, this step narrows down the possible root causes and prevents guesswork. Next step is develop common causes. Based on all information you gathered, list possible causes of the problem. Okay, so I've tried and tested other things and it seems to be printing on Word but not on the PDF files. So I'm just going to list the possible causes here. It could be the PDF viewer might be outdated. Also, there might be some security settings on Acrobat that prevents printing. Instead of randomly trying fixes, you are systematically testing logical causes. 
Then we now test the hypothesis. We can try one solution at a time to confirm or eliminate each possible cause. Okay, so I don't seem to have the issue. I can print the PDFs on the printer, so it might just be your laptop. Okay, so I'm gonna try to print it with a different app like a Google Chrome browser and see if it works there. Oh, it works on Chrome. Trial and error is okay as long as it's systematic. So you avoid wasting time and accidentally breaking other things. Next is implementing the fix. Once the correct cause is identified, apply the full solution. Okay, so after all the testing, I identified the root cause, which is your Adobe Acrobat is outdated. I've tested PDF printing on other apps like Google Chrome and it works there. So I'm gonna have to update or reinstall your Adobe Acrobat. And after implementing the fix, we have to verify it with the user. Test thoroughly to make sure the issue is resolved. Confirm with the user that everything works as expected. Okay, so I just updated Adobe Acrobat on your laptop. Can you please test if you can print PDFs now? A fix that seems to work temporarily but doesn't address the root cause will lead to repeat tickets. Okay, so let's look into the next ticket with unfamiliar issue. The user said, Expressions is not working at the desktop I'm working at. The following error box appears. Hi, I can look into the issue for the ticket you just opened. Ah uh, yes, but it's happening on the other computer. It's working fine here where I'm logged in now. Can you show me where it's having issues? Okay, so did it work for you before? This question helps you determine if the issue is new or ongoing. If it worked before and suddenly stopped, you can look for recent changes. It can be updates, configuration changes, new hardware or software. If it never worked, it might be a setup or configuration issue or a lack of access or permissions. Yes, it worked for me and I was still working last weekend. Do you know if it's working for other users on this computer? This question helps identify if the issue is user-specific or system-wide. If others can log in or use the same app on the same computer, the problem is likely tied to the user's account or profile. If nobody can, then it's likely a machine or a system issue. I've heard from other people using this computer that it's also not working for them. Now, we identify that the issue is on the software on the specific computer and it's not a system-wide issue. So the next step is to check back on the error message and start troubleshooting. For this type of issue, what I typically do is, if it's only happening on one computer or user, I compare it with a working system. Here, I check the configuration of the non-working machine. It looks like it's not configured with the proper server or IP address because it just shows local host. Then, I check the working machine's configurations and it's showing that the IP address are set up. So, it was just easy to copy the config of the working machine. This way, I don't have to spend so much time figuring out the issue. But, what if you tried everything and it still didn't work? Another way is to use online resources. It's perfectly okay to Google and look up unfamiliar IT issues. As long as you know what to look for, you can search up the exact error message or code or go through the vendor documentation. And when you're hitting a wall and already exhausted your resources, you can always escalate to senior level, but make sure that you can provide documentation of all the steps you have already done like what you tried, the error messages, timeline of events, and screenshots and logs. And of course, after the issue is resolved, make sure to add it to your knowledge base for future references. And like I've said earlier, it's okay to feel nervous sometimes, but don't forget to always stay calm and don't panic. And always remember that every issue you solve adds to your confidence and experience.
So I hope that you learned something from this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.